here is the nursery. Doesn't look much like a nursery anymore, does it? This is the way it's looked for the last month. All the toys are gone. But now it's time to get everybody back. I know a lot of you have asked me before, where does everything go when I take everything out of the nursery for guests? Well, I'm going to show you. All right. This is what my babies have looked like for over a month. Everybody stacked up in here, packed away. There's stuff from my Rose Doll show. There's all the toys that go on the dresser. There's three babies in there, a lot of babies in there. There's two babies in there. The toddlers are sitting up, and Luke. And this is what my poor little ones Look at that poor little Presley. She's trying to see around that bear. So, yep, this is what they've looked like for over a month. Oh, poor babies. But now it's time to get them back in their room. Ta-da! <laughs> yes, I'm back. My nursery is back. Oh, there's a stray shoe. That goes to Buddy. I have to put that on him in a little bit. Try to get this thing to focus here. Is it going to focus? Okay. So, everything's back. It took a few hours. <laughs> we got everything back. Everybody's back. And as you can see, we're all still dressed in our 4th of July outfits. There's those guys down there. We're all still wearing our 4th of July because, yes, I have been gone since then. And my hiatus has been not by choice. Let me tell you guys that. Um, I got company on the 5th of July. And as of this past Sunday, August the 4th, I am now... Um, what would you call it? Um, guest free. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been gone a long time, but it's because I have had guests and I mean steady guests since the 5th of July. And let me tell you guys, I loved having everybody. Um, <clears throat> could be a bit stressful at times, but yeah, um, I'm really glad to have my home back to myself now and have the nursery back because I have not even been able to be with any of these guys. I haven't had a chance to hold them, change them, love them, nothing. Because as you could see from the picture before, they were not accessible, really. So anyway, I have got lots and lots and lots to tell you. We went to, I went to the Rose Doll Show. Um, I've got things at the Rose Doll Show. I got a couple of babies at the Rose Doll Show. So I have those to show to you. And um, I got a, I won a giveaway uh, from Hummingbird Nest that it did come while I was in Utah. But because I had company when I came back and all my babies, I didn't have a chance to video it. So I didn't open it. And that has absolutely been driving me insane. And so um, it's been so long now, I've even forgotten what I've won. So this is going to be exciting. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to open up my giveaway prize from uh, Hummingbird's Nest. And then I can start showing you things that I got at the Rose Doll Show. Now, because it's been so long and there's been so many videos up, um, about the doll show um, I'm not going to do any more of the, the actual show because you've already seen it all from everybody else's videos but I will tell you about some of my adventures about my class what I've been doing and yeah we're gonna have some fun I'm so glad to be back with you guys believe me oh look Kaylee are you glad to be back oh Kaylee's glad to be back okay so uh, let me get this set up and I will show you my giveaway hold on 
Okay, well that took a little longer than I expected because I couldn't remember what I did with my tripod. <laughs> so anyway, here we are and here is the package that I got from Diana. Uh, I love the little bag. I don't know where she gets these, but they're lovely. In the vast sea, don't overlook the little fish. Shop small. And uh, yeah, so that was the whole bag. And I opened the end, I cut open the end, but as you can see, everything inside is still wrapped. I haven't looked at it. Um, I just wanted to, I wanted to open it so badly, but the reason I didn't is because I had company and I wanted to video it. And so I have, I had to put it away so I would try not to think about it because I really wanted to open it. So y'all get to see it with me for the first time. So, I have a little card here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty little sticker with a butterfly and a bird on it? Holly Church. Okay, so thank you, Diana. I was so excited to win. I haven't won a giveaway in a long time. Oh, I love that she has her, she has her um, channel name on her cards. Isn't that sweet? The hummingbird nest. <sighs> Oh, thank you, Diana. She just congratulated me on winning and for in and thanking me for ending the um, the giveaway. Oh, you are so welcome. <laughs> thank you. So let's open. I'll take everything out of here so you can see how lovely. Diana, you have just got everything together. I mean, look at this. She has stickers with her channel name, the Hummingbird Nest, on it. Oops. She also has her. Well, it's a post office box. I guess that's okay. But anyway, this one's wrapped in purple paper and has little sparkly hummingbirds all over it. So it's pretty wrapping. Oh my gosh, I, I have missed you all so much. I haven't even had a chance to watch videos. I haven't been able to do anything Thursdays because, well, you saw where my babies were. And there was somebody staying in both rooms, extra rooms, for over a month. So, yeah. Okay, and then I've had my boys that I keep every day. I've had them, and uh, they start school this Wednesday. Today is Saturday. My husband is outside busy putting together my new gazebo. And uh, so I thought, no, this is a good chance for me to get in here and be able to do a video with y'all. So here we have, oh, I remember what this is. It's the Norwal. Oh, how exciting. I'm getting, actually, oh, it's not a Norwal. It's a white, it, yeah, I guess it is a Norwal. It's got the little thing at the top, either that or it's a Uniwhale. <laughs> but we'll call it a Norwal. My daughter, excuse me, my daughter just made me one, so I'm actually getting quite a collection of these. This is, let's see if it says whether it's a Norwal or not. No, but I think with that little horn on the top, that would make it a Norwal, don't you? Or a Uniwhale. So I have a, a, a Unilama. I could have a Uniwhale, right? <laughs> but we'll call him a Norwal because I think that's what he is. And then here's another. This one's wrapped like a big old giant piece of candy. Look at that. And it's got the little butterflies on. I mean the uh, hummingbirds. Derp. <laughs> hummingbirds. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so silly. And this is a blue wrapper. The other one was purple. And we have a pink, so very pretty pastel colors. Okay, you take very well, my darling, Diana. So I'm gonna have to tear. And she wraps everything so well. Okay, this one is in bubble wrap. And I can't find the ends of the tape. Okay, let me get some scissors. Hold on. Okay. All right. Had some scissors. Got that open. And what do we have here? Oh, my goodness. Look. Look. It's a hummingbird. Oh, and, you know, we have hummingbirds um, that come to our feeders and stuff, and I just love to watch them. 
and I sometimes will take the feeder and hold it in my hands and hold it really still and they will come and sit on the feeder in my hands and I love it though. Oh, the legend of the hummingbird. The tiny yet adventurous hummingbird represents the magic and wonder of being alive, the hope of discovery, and allowing our hearts to be open with courage. With the ability to hover, fly up, down, forward, or backward, it inspires adaptability and freedom. The hummingbird reminds us to spread beauty, joy, and love to all we encounter. Isn't that beautiful? And Diana, you do that, hon. You really do that. And there it is. It's uh, like a little ceramic circle with a beautiful blue and purple and green hummingbird on it with a blue tie to hang up. And I'm going to hang that up here in the nursery. Thank you, Diana, so much. Okay, and then we come to our little pink one. I'm so glad I didn't open this ahead of time because I did want to video it for y'all. Oh, how sweet. Oh, I now I remember. Look how cute this is. It's a little romper, white, and it's got uh, whales and jellyfish and fish all in yellow and pink. Oh, it's got crabs and seashells, little gray seashells. There's little gray fish. It's all in uh, multi-pesto colors like blues, grays, pinks, yellows. It snaps at the front, has little uh, butterfly wings, um, sleeves, and then there's a big blue whale on the bum. How sweet is that? Thank you so much, Diana. There we have. This is what I won for the giveaway. Actually, I think I won the whale. Whoops, let's focus, guys. I think I won the whale and the outfit, and she included the little hummingbird um, hanger. So, thank you so much, Diana. Okay, so, there we go. And uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now, because there's so many things to tell you and so much stuff to show you. I don't want to take it all up in one video. I'll try to spread it out a little bit more. And when my boys start to school on Wednesday... I will have my free time um, back and uh, hopefully I can make more videos, I can watch more videos and I will be going back to my uh, reborning and um, learning to root. <laughs> um, I still have a baby that um, I'm trying to get rooted and so yeah, hopefully we'll get all these things going. Um, I'm still in... Uh, rehearsals for the play that I'm doing in September and October we have like a little less than a month to practice on that and I have the lead so yeah we're busy doing that right now and I will be going to Georgia um, in the uh, the Labor Day weekend holiday for Labor Day um, for a family reunion and then I'll be back and uh, yeah things are starting to settle down I have turned down two requests um, one to be on a theater board which I'm already on one theater board so they asked me to be on another and I declined and I also declined to work a walk to Emmaus this fall because I'm just I'm going to really try very hard not to get so overextended so there you have it, guys. I love you all. I'm so glad to be back. I hope you missed me. I hope um, I haven't lost you all because I do miss you all very much. And uh, I hope to see you again really soon with some more um, stories and things to show you from the Rose Doll Show. Okay, take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.